Hi. We want to consider the precise mathematical limit definition for a moment. We won't be doing very much of this. It's, as you will see, it's very difficult to work with and complicated, but it is important to understand some of the uh, real mathematics, the intricacy behind it. The real math definition for limit, and I'll get to that in a moment. The limit as x approaches a of f of x equals l means is the definition for any epsilon greater than zero. There exists delta greater than zero such that the absolute value f of x minus l is less than epsilon for all x satisfying. Zero is less than the absolute value of x minus a is less than delta. Now first, epsilon and delta are Greek letters, letters of the Greek alphabet. They just represent well, parameters, things that we can put in specific numbers for. Okay, don't let that bother you too much. It's just the letters that are used. Secondly, this definition can also be written another an alternate way of dealing with this. Mean, this means if zero is less than the absolute value of x minus a is less than delta, this means that I get within delta distance of a, then my function ends up to be within epsilon distance of L. Absolute value represents distance. So, um, let's look at this particular example. We know the limit as x approaches 2 of the function x squared plus 4x minus 3 is equal to 9. So, that being said, if I pick a distance that I want to be around the value for 9, let's let epsilon be 0.3, I want to find the largest possible delta, value for delta, so that if x is within this interval around 2, a delta distance around 2, then my functional value is going to be up here. I need to find delta, the largest delta that will work. And for that we actually have to work backwards. So we're going to be doing a, some algebra, a bunch of algebra here. And I'm going to say the absolute value of f of x minus l is less than epsilon, or in this case, I want epsilon to be 0.3. I get x squared plus 4x. Doesn't look like an x squared. x squared plus 4x minus 3 minus 9 has to be less than 0.3. Or absolute value of x squared plus 4x minus 12 is less than 0.3. Using algebra, we can write this saying negative 0.3 is less than x squared plus 4x minus 12 is less than 0.3. And now I have to somehow get x minus 2 in the middle. The first thing I want to do is uh, complete the square. I have to get rid of this quadratic. And so this becomes x squared plus 4x plus 4 minus 16. I added and subtracted 4. Remember how to complete the square? Probably not, but that's why we're looking at this. This is x plus 2 quantity squared minus 16. 
I can then add 16 to both sides and I end up with, or to all three parts, 15.7 is less than x plus 2 quantity squared is less than 16.3. Take the square root. We can, I want again, I want to get x minus 2. So I need to subtract 4 from everywhere. And then at that point, we need to see which one of these differs from 2 the most. I do not have a calculator with, with me, so I will leave the rest of this. It is written out for you in the uh, homework problems that I've done, so you can see how to finish this. But this is the difficult part of it. Basically, each of these numbers represents a distance on the number line from 2 it is not symmetrical. One of these has a larger distance than the other. And so therefore, we take whichever one is a smaller distance from two. And that becomes our value for delta.